Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just being silly. Um, so today I've got a review on this Ali Pearl wig, and yeah, let's just get straight into it. So this texture that I ordered was the wet and wavy. I ordered the 12 inch length. I ordered this hair straight from the Ali Pearl website. I did not order it through AliExpress. I ordered it straight from the Alipur website because apparently um, the quality is quite different so allegedly this is what people say on the streets they say that the Aliexpress quality is not as great as if you order straight from the Alipur website so I'm not sure if that's true or not but I just ordered straight from the Alipur website so let's get straight into the hair info so i got this in 12 inches the texture was wet and wavy i'm going to put a picture of how it looked on the website and how it actually looked in person i got the wig cap in a medium size which i'm going to talk about a bit later um hair density in 150 hair density color normal natural um brown 1b color um, lace color transparent and make type was factory made so they made it for me um, yeah so here I'm just showing you um, the packaging and the things that I include in the packaging and how the wig comes when you order it so this is one of the things that I didn't like about the hair was it came straightened so you might see this in the next clip but the fact that they had straightened it um, and packaged it, it looked really, really weird. So because it's, because it's such a short length, it looked really weird that they had straightened it. Um, so when I put it on, it looked very um, scarce and it just didn't look good in my opinion um, as soon as it came out of the box. So you're going to see this next clip, how weird it looked and how terrible it looked. But I fixed this later on. Here you can see how it looks straight from the pack and the other side is how it looks when it's wet. So as you, can, as you can see from this clip, there's quite a bit of plastic fillers or synthetic fibers in the hair. Um, for the quality or the price of hair, I didn't expect it to be great, great. However, I only did buy 12 inches and I did pay about in pounds, 95 pounds and dollars was $117 so I didn't expect it to be that that great quality you know I don't think there's that many hair in the world so I'm sure a lot of manufacturers do put synthetic hair as well because you know human hair is a natural resource but I'm not complaining too much it is what it is so here I have dyed the hair jet black and I also um, bleached the knot, but I didn't bleach it too well. I am a beginner when it comes to um, bleaching knots and front tools and closures, so I didn't do a great job. The wig does come with pre-installed baby hairs. Um, I'm not sure if they plucked it, but it looked like they had slightly plucked the lace itself. But I did go back and pluck it slightly. Yet again, I'm not the best at doing this. I'm a beginner, so yeah. So here I'm about to install the wig. I had worn the wig at this point um, once already, but I forgot to film. So I'm gonna show you how I install it. I'm not that great installing wigs and frontals, so it's not the best job. So the wig does come with installed combs or clip-in combs, however I cut those out because it did hurt my hair. So as you can see I did put foundation on the lace so it can blend a little bit with my skin tone, however it was still a bit too dark but I think that was my fault because I think I got a little bit of um, dye on the lace. but. So like I already mentioned, the plastic fillers were a disadvantage for me. However, when I dyed the hair, I didn't notice it that much. So, things that I would say is I like the quick delivery with Ali Pearl. 
um, it did take them less than two weeks to deliver the hair and that's despite lockdown so yeah I did like the quick delivery okay one of the things that I really did not like about the wig um, even up to now was the fact that the wig does come quite small so I ordered the medium sized wig however I wished I ordered the large because the wig is quite small for my head um, so yeah it does come small so if you're going to order order a large and then you could probably put elastic around it but i really did not like the small size of the wig so i can say about this wig is that i really like the lace um the lace was really easy to work with like i mentioned i am a beginner however i felt that it was easy to melt although i'm not great at melting lace or blending lace in it was actually really good quality lace despite the fact that i accidentally got bleach not bleach um dye on the lace it still turned out okay and quite good so i really did like the lace i think they did a really good job with the lace So this is how you can tell that I'm a beginner because at this point is where I realized that I put the wig the wrong way around and it was slanted so I had to start all over again. Let's get back to the review. So I did not mention, mention this earlier on however what I did not like about this hair was the smell when it came in the box. It smelled like chemicals, it just didn't have a good smell. But you can use shampoo, conditioner to get rid of the smell. Okay, so let's talk about money. So like I said earlier on, I paid £95 for this and that equates to about $117. Um, the price was okay. Come to think of it, it was slightly pricey for the length of hair. So it is only 12 inches. However, depends on your budget. I have had cheaper hair. I've had... So yeah, it does depend on the budget that you have. Um, however, I think for 12 inches and for the price, it was all right. Um, I think it probably cost a bit more just because they made the wig in the factory. Um, the price is okay. I think it depends on the individual um, circumstances or what you're used to. So moving on to hair density. Like I mentioned earlier when I got this in 150 hair density and I feel that this is quite thin for 150. Um, mind you, this is the first factory made wig that I've ever had. Um, I usually make my own um, wigs by myself, just using bundles. So it might just be how they do things if you get it in the factory made by far. The 150 was quite thin density in my opinion, um, but I might be wrong. This might be the normal um, type of hair for 150, but I just felt like I've seen other hair that is 115 it's a bit thicker than this but this is just my opinion i might be wrong but if you're gonna get this and you want it to be a bit fuller you might as well just get 180 it does cost a bit more um but if you know you're really fussed about it okay so last but not least we're gonna talk about the overall quality of the hair so i've put this in the middle because uh, i think it's depending on you and um, what you're used to in terms of hair quality. I think the hair quality was okay. I think it was all right um, Apart from the fillers or the synthetic fibers that I told you about earlier on. I think the hair quality was okay um, I'm not sure how long it's gonna last for so I've had the wig now for a few months. Let's say about two months or so um, But you know, I think to get the most out of hair or to decide if the quality of hair is good or not, it, is, it should last a year or more. Um, just again, over a gist of how good the quality of hair is, but that's also dependent on, you know, the lace um, frontal closure and things like that. So um, I can't say much about the quality yet, but overall impressions in the first two months, I think the quality of hair was okay. 
so now I'm just messing around the hair, playing around with um, different partings. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but one of the sides I couldn't glue the lace on my head um, just because, like I mentioned, it is quite a small wig. So one side I really could not glue the lace on, so I just had to use my head to cover that side. Um, yeah. So overall, would I buy from Ali Pearl again? Yes, I would buy from Ali Pearl again. However, I would not be buying a pre-made wig um, from them again. But I would definitely be buying bundles from them again. Um, mostly just because I really like the lace and the frontal. And I like the quality of the lace and how it blends quite well. So I would be buying from them again, but just not a pre-made wig. So that's it. Thanks for watching my video. Tell me what you think down below and if you've bought from Ali Pearl before and what you and your personal experience was. Thanks. Bye.